Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Cards. I am Jennifer Merle Hampshire, and welcome to Whispers and in Ink. I am so excited, and I love being here with you guys on Saturday mornings. We get to um, do some crafty things, and we get to chat about stuff and have some fun, right? All right, so I hope that you're having a beautiful Saturday so far. I have my, I have my, you had me at meow cup, which is technically the husband's cup, but you guys, I, okay, I have to tell you guys. Good morning, Miss Nancy. Um, so I was harassing Joe about, and what is up with these glasses? Harassing Joe because I told him, I said, well, you know what? Since you're not showing this cup any love, I'm going to show it some love. And I snagged it out of the coffee cup cabinet. And for those of you that know and that have been here, you can help me explain. There is a menagerie of different cups in my coffee cup container. I don't have all the same cups. I like a lot of different cups. And that way then you, the user, the coffee cup user, can decide which cup you want to pick. And to me, that's the fun of having all of those different cups. And I was explaining this to Joe this morning um, because it's fun to see which ones you guys pick. And, and to see if I can figure out why you picked that cup. So I don't know. But anyways, coffee cheers this morning, you guys. I have a lot of announcements to make. Hmm. A lot of announcements to make. Um, I made a lot of announcements at Girls' Night last night. And you guys know, for those that attend in-person Girls' Night, they get to find out about all the things first. So, don't forget to say good morning when you come in. And don't forget to do hashtag replay when you come in. And... Please share this video so that others can locate us here so that we can find more friends to craft with because that's really what it's all about is finding friends to craft with. Oh, Lynn's got the grandson with her today. Ooh, they're getting crafty too. Six years old is way old enough to be getting crafty with. I do it with my nieces all the time. So... But here's the announcement. So you're going to want to... Good morning, Miss Paula. Oh, Paula's in the house. <laughs> you guys, if you don't have a pencil and paper there, you're definitely going to want to grab one because there's some very pertinent date information coming up your way. White Sox wanted to say good morning to everybody. So good morning to White Sox, right? Oh, my goodness. So many things. So I am going to wait and make the big announcement last. The big, big announcement. So what I wanted to share with you guys, and I think that I forgot to tell you last week Wednesday, was that on June 30th, we're going to be doing... A, which is a Wednesday, so we normally do our Wednesday classes. June 30th is the fifth Wednesday of the month. So there's five Wednesdays. So any month that there are five Wednesdays, we're going to be doing a kit night. So what that means is I'm going to have one of the new kit collection kits. And you guys could have one of the new kit collection kits, and then you can craft along with us together. Kind of like a mystery card night, but just with a kit. I thought that that might be kind of fun. Oh, Father's Day cards. Lynn's making Father's Day cards. That's a good thing. Good thing. Okay. So I thought that that would be super duper fun in regards to crafting together, um, even though I'll be live and you guys will be with, you guys will be joining me via remote. How about that? <laughs> All right, so that's the, that's 
one of my things that I think I forgot to tell you about on um, Wednesday. However, let me move some things. I gotta grab something. Hang on one second. Two things, actually. Oh, and you guys, while I'm thinking about it, I gotta do, I gotta write something down. Because, you know, if I don't write it down, then I forget. Couple of things that we found last night, you guys. I don't have any stamp and cleaner refills, so I gotta get a new one of those. Added that to my list already, but I also am, <gasps> Paula, don't freak out. But I'm, I only have five pieces of Daffodil Delight, you guys. Ooh, that's not good. That will um, upset Paula. Can't have that. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Miss Becky. Good morning, everybody. All right. So I added that to my ordering list so I don't forget. But... Here's the fun thing that I wanted to share with you guys today. The Ding Dong Ditch is in process. It should be mailed out mm, probably tonight, if not tomorrow. Um, but I do want to share with you guys so that you're not shocked. But um, Becky, I already talked about it, so thank you. I wrote, I had it on my list. I made a list. You guys, I have a list. Um, the Ding Dong Ditch is going to be a little bit different this time, you guys, because normally we do cardstock, designer series paper, and ribbon, right? Because you guys know I love my ribbon, but hold on to your seats because this month I'm doing designer series paper, cardstock, and are you ready? We're doing embossing folder so I'm really excited about this and I hope that you guys are really excited too and I'm going to show you share with you guys what the embossing folders are so that you can be super excited about it too so here is the embossing folders it's a dual pack you guys you get two and it is the thanks and hello embossing folders and this will fit in your mini, which is one of the reasons why I picked this set. But you guys, this set is so stinking cute. So I had that one. Let me see if I can find the box. Oh, yep, it's right here. Right here. I made this little box. This little box using the thanks embossing folder, which is this one. And it's got all the languages on it, you guys. It's got German and French and English and um, um, Spanish. And oh my goodness, I'm sure that there is um, Dutch on here. There's Italian. All the different ways to say thank you. Okay, to say thanks. That's what this embossing folder is about. And then... This embossing folder is about hello. So everything, you got bonjour and hello and all of the different languages on this one too. I just thought it was really super cool, something different to do for the Ding Dong Ditch. So this and cardstock and a designer series paper will be what you get for your $17, you guys, it's not, the price isn't even changing. How exciting is that, that the price isn't even changing? So it's gonna be $17, and you have the entire month to decide, and then next month we'll do the online class, and I'm super excited about this, you guys. Um, I will share with you that the designer series paper is going to be the Subtles um, family pack, so you'll get um, oh, 10 sheets of that, I think. 10 sheets of that. Um, similar to what we're gonna be doing for the Ding Tong Ditch class on Wednesday. 
So I will show you everything that you would get um, for the designer series paper. And the patterns are the same as the brights. Um, so just super fun, right, you guys? Is that fun? Something different? Come on, get excited. I'm excited. Get excited. So the only external thing that you would want to purchase is the stamp set. Do you guys want to see the stamp set? Because I can share that with you too. But maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. You guys are sleeping today. You guys are sleeping. And I'm almost out of coffee. I forgot to fill my coffee cup before I came in here, you guys. But I am going to share with you guys for sure. Thank you, Becky. Somebody's got to. Somebody help me out here. Come on. All right. So if you know anybody that would be interested in that ding dong ditch um, and you don't want them to miss the information, please sure make sure to um, tag them here. Feel free to do so. Oh, Kim's begging. All right. All right. All right. So, the stamp set is a new stamp set, obviously. It is actually just a stamp set. Um, yes, I am a little sneaky. Um, it is um, a standalone stamp set. That's what I meant to say. And it is called Shaded Summer. And you guys, it stamps so pretty. I love all the sentiments. I'm going to read you the sentiments. May the good you do come back to you above and beyond. You go there a lot. Love you, friend. Happy birthday. Some friendships are just meant to be. Thank you and hello you, which is why I picked this stamp set because it coordinates. And then you've got these three images, which you guys, you want to see no, I'm not going to show you how it stamps. You guys are going to have to wait. Wait for the sneak peek for next week. So this is the stamp set. Because I do have, I have, um, I have cards done already, but you guys, you guys have seen enough. Oh, it does have such a pretty font, Becky. Yes, definitely. Most definitely. And I, you guys, I love, I love a good font. I love a lot of sentiments and you guys know happy birthday is we use the birthdays every month for the girls night so that's always anything that has a birthday that has good birthday sentiment good font I definitely want to use so all right but what are we doing today does anybody have any guesses about what we're doing today 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 oh. You guys, you need to tell me to stop singing. All right. So what we're doing today, it's kind of like a no stamp and Saturday, you guys. But without the Memories and More Pack, which we love Memories and More Packs. Yes, we do. But this time, this time, um... Stampin' Up! provided us with all the sentiments and, hang on you guys, I have a kitten getting into trouble. No, 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 no ribbon. Clyde's getting into trouble, he's getting into the ribbon that's on my table. We love your, yeah, I'm sure you do not like my singing, Kim, but thank you. Thank you for the fibs. I appreciate it. All right. So we're not, we're doing a no Stampin' Saturday because Stampin' Up! provided the sentiments for us and the stamps because we will be using today the United Through Creativity digital download. Yes, Bonnie, Clyde is such a stinker. Okay, so this is a, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14 page download, you guys. And it's free, okay? Totally and completely, you download it and you're good to go. So, however, I'm gonna share with you, there are some coordinating products here. And I'm gonna give you the colors because there are colors in here. So our colors are Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Highland Heather. Oh, I was gonna grab that. I meant to grab Highland Heather. Mint Macron, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Shaded Spruce, and Soft Suede. But it also goes with the Label Me Fancy Punch, the Stitched Rectangles, and the Tasteful Labels. So all three of these things coordinate. And what they're talking about is these sentiments. So we belong together. Would, no, nope, maybe not that one. There, okay. The die cutting images are, or the punch image can be used on all of your sentiments here. So um, when we unite un our creativity light, we lighten people's hearts, okay? That one I would put as this, so that you can die cut all of those out, all right? And yes, there are several languages here because this covers all the languages of where Stampin' Up! is. Stampin' Up! is um, French, German, um, Dutch, and English. So all of those languages will be represented on this download. All right? And there's lots of different colors in here. Here's, here's your crushed curry. This would be probably the, um, this would be the poppy parade. Here's your Highland Heather. Um, and then we've got a bunch of different languages, but then we've got all these images too. And remember when I was talking about this on my blog, that these are the things that you color, which we could, you could do, um, you can um, use your Stampin' Blends if you print this on um, cardstock. For my version here, I just printed it on regular paper. But it's super easy to, um, to be able to use all of these images. And, oh, Paula. Wait, wait, wait. Paula, does that look familiar? Oh my gosh, you guys, Paula bought, brought one of her new toys over last night when she came to girls' night. And she let me, you guys, she hadn't even used it herself. And she let me do all these die cuts. And look at that fern. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that would be so cute on top of there. I did not punt, die cut out any extras, but I wanted to be able to see what these look like. And let me tell you, you guys, I love our new die cuts. I know this is a commercial message. I'm sorry, you guys. I love our new die cuts because everything popped out like that. Super duper easy. Um, let's see, where is it? Where is it? The little mushrooms. There they are. So, there, the iconic is the die cuts, okay? And look at the fern and the birds and the mushrooms. And and you guys know that none of this ever does any justice in the catalog until you see it. But this, and just so you know, to get sizing reference, this is a half of a sheet of cardstock. So it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then you've got the B right here. Hey, Becky, tag Becca in here. Because I love this little bee, I know, or and I know, because I know Randy likes the bee too. But these little mushrooms are super cute, and the flowers. I really this flower. I love it. This could be super cool if you put it 
and I'm just going to use this because it's on top, but look at, you get that two-tone flower look with that flower. I really do like that. Um, so it was, it, it yes, and it does appear to stand alone. Exactly. This is something just like that shaded summer stamp set. This does not have a coordinating stamp set. This is just the die cut which I thought is really cool. We have a couple of those, you guys, that are just standalone die cuts. So anyways, super cute die cut set, that branch. And of course, we had to do a red bird, right, Paula? And, um, and then just different colors. So I was using all scrap. I was trying to find scrap that was big enough. So, but yeah, that is super cute. So the commercial's over. Thank you, Becky. Um, love that stamp set but totally got my attention but anyways uh, good as gold is your sentiments here and here's the fun part of this you guys I know that some people have um, pen pals pen pals that are um, from other countries and this is totally cool um, I know that Vicky iconic is the die cut set Kim Thank you, Paula. Um, Vicki Fritz, somebody tag Vicki because I know that um, she mails to the Netherlands, which I think that who she mails to actually does speak, speak Dutch. So there are Dutch sentiments in here. Um, and then, see, here's our Dutch page. That's all the Dutch stuff. And then bunch of um, fancy a cuppa. I love that. Um, what absolutely fabulous news. Chin up. It all comes out in the wash. And then um, your true blue friend and good day. And, and then here's some French things. I'm assuming that that's French. So thank you, Becky. Um, so we're going to be using this today, and I think, because I grabbed my colored pencils, I really, I really like that flower. I think that's really pretty. But I'm thinking with 4th of July coming up, I'm thinking apple pie is definitely the way to go, and I'm thinking that we're going to be using these stitched rectangles to cut it out. And we'll have to figure out what sentiment to use. So what do you guys think? Should we do the apple pie? I think we might adjust this as well so that it comes a little more square-like and we do know that we can do that, right? Oh, Paula got some happy mail today, you guys. Paula got some happy mail. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're going to do the apple pie. And I'm also thinking I need my trimmer and some space to use it. So we're going to be, we're going to be cutting this. And I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna go high on this, you guys, okay? So I'm going to cut around the sentiment here. There. And we're gonna figure out how we're gonna cut this. I might have to bring in the big one, the big cut and emboss for this. But it's always best to color first. That way then you have more space. And I'm gonna grab my colored pencils because I did not print that on thicker cardstock. I'm just gonna use my colored pencils. So we've got some Early Espresso in here. And don't forget, there's two packs, you guys, of colored pencils. There is the original pack. And that pack has Real Red Calypso Coral Pineapple, or Pineapple, 
Oh my goodness. Pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, old olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, rich raspberry, melon mambo, early espresso, basic gray, black, and white. And the new ones have cherry cobbler, flirty flamingo, Cajun craze, crushed curry, granny apple, garden green, coastal cabana, balmy blue, dined of Davy, and gorgeous grape. So I'm going to use the... Um, the Cajun craze to um, to help bring in that pretty brown look on the pie. Just doing the stripes where the little marks are, taking from the the image itself and what I'm talking about is those little lines that are already existing on there and then I'm going to bring in my early espresso and I'm going to be really super light with this because we don't want a burnt pie right you guys I can knock on wood to date I have not burnt a pie and I love making pie. It's one of my favorite things. I love butter crust. And I love, love, love. Pies are one of my favorites to make. And I'm going to say that that's not pie crust. I'm going to say that that's a pie tin. So we're going to make it silver. And I'm not going super dark with the coloring here, you guys. Kind of going with the grain here. And then, you don't want to forget your blending brush or your blender pen, excuse me. Oh my gosh, Kim, you have never made a pie? Oh my gosh, girl, I love making pie. That is actually, that is always a request for my family is to make pie. I, and I make thick crust pie. I don't like that chintzy stuff. So yeah, oh, love it, love it, love it. Girl, I'll help you make pie, no worries. So we're using, now I want to show you. This is blended brush and this is not. So can you see the stroke marks in there? That's why you want to use the blending brush is to get rid of those strokes, unless that's what you want. I do not. So we're gonna go through that. So there's our little silver pie tin, okay? Now, when you're using this, don't forget You've got to wipe off the color. And here's where the magic happens, you guys. Here's where our pie comes to life. Look at that pie crust. Ooh, I will admit, Kim, I don't do a lattice crust, though. I do, um, I take cookie cutouts and do my pie like that. Becky's had my pie. So there, and there's our pie. Doesn't that look yummy? Ooh, yum. Okay, so we're gonna wipe off our brush because we have apples to, to color. And I'm gonna bring in the cherry cobbler and the real red because we're gonna two-tone it for our apple here. And remember, you guys, when I said I was a lazy colorer? Yup. Lazy, lazy. Don't have to color the whole thing. Because the blending brush does a lot of work for you. Or the blender pen. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, you guys. The blender pen does a lot of work. Just like that. And there's our apple. In the red, now we're going to add in... 
a little bit. And again, taking from the shades, from the little lines there. Oh, Kendra. We're using the United in Creativity um, PDF today, Kendra. All right. There we go. All right, so here's our apple pie, which looks oh so yummy, if I say so myself. And we'll get this darkened up just a little bit. Oh, the other thing I don't do, Kim, I don't take all of the skin off of my apples either. Little tricks, little tricks. Okay, so here's our image that we're gonna use, our apple pie image. And here's the other thing, you guys. You gotta make sure to get the pencils back in the right place. And they're all marked, so you'll see early espresso here. Okay, so you know where it goes. This is Cajun Craze, Cajun Craze and Cherry Cobbler. Those go back in that one. And then Basic Gray goes back in this one. All right, so there's those. And you guys, I've had these forever. And you can see, I use them, okay? So they're not down too far, and I sharpen them. I like them sharpened. So I didn't have to sharpen today because I did sharpen them yesterday. But let's see, is this die gonna fit in here? Oh, yes it does. But I think we're still gonna pull in the Big Daddy, you guys because I don't want to have to trim that paper anymore. So we're going to trim it. We're going to use the big one instead. Pull it in. There. So start thinking, you guys. Ooh, apple butter. I, you know what? I have never made apple butter. Kendra, have you made apple butter? You, next time you come to visit, you might have to, or when, ooh, you guys, oh, you guys, the Red Delicious is loaded, loaded with apples, oh my goodness. So definitely, um, I'll be making some, I do French apple, French apple jelly, and Becky's had it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, but I would love to learn how to make apple butter, Kendra. That is, that's one of the things on my list. So Kim will be doing cooking class. We'll be making apple pies and apple butter. I, it, oh, Kendra, thank you. I thought it was just me. Kendra doesn't take the um, skins off of the apples when she makes pie either. Nope, nope. I like it with the skins. Definitely. All right, so I'm doing my best to center the um, stitched rectangle here. And, oh yes, I think that sounds like a fabulous plan. Love it. Love it. All right, so here's what I mean about customizing, customizing our, I'll take this off, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this smaller, like that. And all you gotta remember to do is line up, and it'll sit in there, you guys. Those little stitches will sit where and they will stay there so that you can make your stuff a specific size. And that's one of the things I love about these stitched rect about these stitched shapes is they're easy peasy to um, make a different size because of the stitching. So just a different size rectangle. And there's our apple pie. Oh my gosh, that's the perfect size. 
fabulous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. As I'm dropping things. Oh. All right. I'm putting our stitched rectangle back. So here's our apple pie. Now we need to figure out what sentiment we're going to use. What's going to here? What's going to fit with the apple pie? Let me see. Let's look through here. I think the We Belong Together would be fun. Definitely. Let's see what else do we got? Hmm. Where are the other pages? What did I do with them? Oh, they're over here. Over here. Good as gold could be a good one. I don't know. What sentiment should we use, you guys? We could do the you're the best thing since sliced bread, but that's kind of not fitting. But, kind of. Here for you thick through thick and thin, that would work, too. No, there isn't a you make life delicious. And that would be, that, I love that sentiment, Kendra. That would be fabulous. But no, good as gold is about as good as we get. Um, let's see. Yeah, because this image came from this page. Let me see, what else do we got? Um, and see, here's where Here's the images that you have to color. I love the color. Um, no. I think that's about as good as we're going to get, you guys. Either good as gold or here for you through thick and thin. Those are the, the most fitting of the apple pie images we belong together those would be the three so which one together thick and thin or gold those are the three choices to me that makes sense Those are the three that make the most sense to me. What do you guys say? Oh, that did help. Good. It was a little dark. It's not super sunny today, but you guys, Joe and I are decided to turn the AC on already. Oh, Becky says, oh, we got it together and good as gold. Well, exactly, Kim, I agree. That's what kind of why the thick and thin, I think that one would be fun. Yeah. But the we belong together would work too. So, all right, guys, you need to help me out. What are we going to pick? Here for you through thick and thin. We belong together or good as gold are the choices. And we have a good as gold and a together are the two choices so far. But what do you guys say? Nancy, Paula, anybody, anybody? Kendra says thick or thin. Thank you. So now we got one for each. Although I'm leaning towards the thicker thin. Just saying. And I know it's my card, Paula, but I want you guys to help me. Paula says together. So we have two togethers and two thick and thins. It's 
So that's the tiebreaker. Nancy, you need to break the tie. Oh, Nancy picks them together. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We belong together. And I think, you guys, we're going to do the we belong together in... And I got to find... <laughs> oh... Oh, the We Belong Together isn't in black or white. In black. Shoot. All right. So that's, this is an issue. Although, I think that we could go get along, get by with that mint macron with that. Together it is. Together it is. Okay. So what we're going to do with this one... And here's the thing, you guys. I know that um, sometimes these big PDFs can be a little overwhelming, okay? However, I'm not going to be using the other language version, so I will cut closer to that so that I can get this We Belong Together die cut out. And I'm going to definitely die cut it because I think it looks really pretty. And I wanna see if that will fit on that. Very good. And we're gonna do the same thing with this that we did with the pie. So I'm sticking with the stitched rectangles here, you guys. And I am going to cut that and thin it out like we did this one. So oh, I'm going to move that, grab the, the big cutting emboss again, and we are going to do the same same that we did last time. Set up, so that you guys can see, I have it set up towards the top. I'm going to put my die cut on here. I'm going to have to move it back so that I can crank it through. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pull this off and we're going to pull this off. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last time. I'm gonna have this sit. And we're gonna cut it to the size that we want it. Got to get it in the etched, got to get it in the stitchy part. So that, there we go, there we go. Like that. All right, so then, I totally grabbed all the wrong color scheme here for cards. There's that. So I need to go and grab some red. So hang on. I was going to go a different direction. Oh, you guys, I had helper yesterday. And he divided up all of our scraps. And to say that I am grateful is an understatement. A total understatement. Because we're going to put that on here. Like that. And we're going to have to cut it because I used the wrong die cut, which is okay. 
that's one inch. So we're gonna do one and a quarter. And then this one is four, three and 15 sixteenths, just because of how I cut it. And we're gonna layer this on this like that, just like that. And then we're gonna take our apple pie image and we're gonna put that on the mint macron. And I think we'll do it this way. Hmm. I think, I think, missing things and missing things and I'm just remembering that my tape runner that is up here you guys is back behind my desk here all right so we put that like that, and then we put this like this. What do you guys think about that? Or should we just line that out? Or um, should we just um, make the mint macron layer the same as or the quarter inch as that? Which do you guys think? Big layer or small layer? That's the question. Big layer, small layer. Don't forget, you guys, I have a big announcement at the end. Oh, Paula, no kitties. It was me, actually, believe it or not. I was the one that put it there. But that would be a logical choice. Okay, so Kendra says she doesn't know. Kim says small. Paula says small. Everybody says smaller. Okay, well, we can do that then. And I brought in a neutral, just a smoky slate for our color. Let's see, three inches by three and a half. So three and three quarters by three and a quarter. So small layer. Yeah, I know. There's a ruler back there that I haven't gone to get yet either. And I meant, while the munchkins were here, I meant to do it, and I forgot. So, just because I want to be lazy. So here's our card now, guys. So this I'm going to do straight in here. You can use glue or your runner. It doesn't matter. So we're going to do that there. And this we're going to do with dimensionals. And there's our card. That's it. Easy peasy, you guys. 
easy peasy and I must have gotten slightly off on that we're gonna have to glue that down so cart there's our card you guys using the United in creativity PDF that you get for free all you have to do you guys there's a link above here above the video for my shop link and that's all that you need to do you don't even need to use a host code or anything, you guys, but we do have a new host code here, just so that you know. All right. Easy, easy. What do you guys say? Does this help you want to get it? I know Paula does. She needs me to print it because her printer doesn't. She doesn't have a color printer, so. But that's it. Great coloring. And look at it came together super easy you guys we did a little bit of coloring and that was it but how pretty would it be to do and i'm looking for my other pages i lost oh that's right here any of these images here any of the flowers or the people or whatever okay the flowers you can easily color and cut even just cut square with your trimmer okay it is super cute, Kim. It really is. Oh, this one goes in the front. That one goes there. Oh, oh, you guys, there was a We Belong Together in black. Oh, well, that's all right. It turned out cute. So any of these images, like I would, I would pull out my, um, my pencils again and use the old olive and the garden green. Oh, no old olive and the uh, granny apple green on that fern and color that up but you don't have to color if you guys don't like to color I know some people love coloring but I would cut that up I would even bring in I wonder if the circle dies would be big enough for that do you think I don't know that's the big circle. No, nope, the big circle is not quite big enough, but that would be super cool. Color that, put that, and then put um, a scallop layer underneath it in um, granny apple or garden green or whatever colors that you chose. No, I, I, I would recommend Paula I would recommend doing it on the basic white cardstock. I did not because I I forgot to go put the paper in there. I just was printing it out. But um, I would recommend doing it on the basic white. Now, if you know that you're going to be using your Stampin' Blends, if your printer could handle it, I would even go with the thick white. My printer can handle the thick white, so I could, if I wanted to do these. And here's the thing, you guys. If you're using, if you know what image you want to color, once you download this download, once you download this PDF, you can print it any time that you want. And you can print one page at a time. I wanted to print the whole thing which is why I printed it on just the regular copy paper. And I wish that I would have selected a couple pages in the thicker cardstock because then I could have pulled out my Stampin' Blends instead of the color pencils. But I like using either one of those, so it's entirely up to you what you wanna do. But yes, Paula, yes, you will need to bring 14 pieces, yep. And so does anybody else have any questions about the PDF itself or the uh, coordinating products or anything else? Oh, don't let me forget. I have that big announcement to make. Mm, kind of excited. Okay, so if nobody's got any questions, then... I'm gonna tell you the big announcement. Big announcement, and I'm super duper excited. You guys, 
I'm double checking, I'm holding off. And I'm gonna take a swig of coffee because a little torture never hurt anybody. <laughs> All right, so since you guys have no questions, the big announcement is the BOGO sale. You guys, Saturday, June 26th, starting at 1 p.m. Central, is the BOGO sale. Now, for those of you that have never come to a BOGO sale, um, BOGO sale, and Kendra, help me out here, girl, if you're still here. Yes, I am evil. Um, I do online appointments via video and I do in person. You guys, the room is full, okay? All kinds of retired product. It is, and, and Paula, Paula is always my helper because she knows exactly how things work and I'm super, super grateful for that that she is so willing to give me her day because that's pretty much what happens. Um, BOGO sale is you um, buy the retired items and you get new product for free. Okay? So, oh, it is super easy online. Thank you, Kendra. It is super easy online. Kendra did it online last year, you guys. So, um, this is a yearly sometimes even bi-yearly event. So didn't do it in January. Things were because of COVID and everything. So, but in person and online starting at one o'clock, but you need to make an online appointment. That is the only way that you can get here or get to see things online, okay? Is by making an appointment. So first come, first serve for the time slots. First time slot is at 1.30 because I want to get situated here before I start doing online stuff. And the bonus part is, you guys, is we're going to have make and takes. There's going to be a make and take that you can make here in person. And I will have um, up and coming class previews, meaning... Um, next month's Ding Dong Ditch, and even the month after that. And then I'm planning on having, I have a, excuse me, I have a new class coming up in August that I already have planned, and I'm going to have previews for that class as well. Um, so that is a great opportunity, not only to see new stuff, new class stuff, but it's also a great opportunity to get some great deals. So um, I have stamp sets, I have bundles, I have um, I have some cardstock, retired cardstock, I have retired ink pads, I have um, retired ink refills, I have retired ribbon, and all kinds of stuff. So um, it is a big deal, big deal. So don't forget to get your online appointment set up. And if you have any questions, as always, any questions, please reach out, let me know. Um, you will um, not want to miss this, that's for sure. Right, you guys? Paula, Nancy's been here too. Becky's been here. You guys, you don't want to miss it, right? There is always a slew of things and a bunch of goodies and we have some prizes and treats. Of course, there's always treats. So all kinds, all kinds of things. All right. And I think that's all that I have for today. I think. I did discuss everything on my list. BOGO sale, kit night. And the Ding Dong Ditch, a sneak peek of the Ding Dong Ditch. Our first sneak peek of the Ding Dong Ditch. Plus, we made a card today, you guys. How awesome is that? There's our card that we made. So we belong together with our apple pie from the PDF. And don't forget, you guys, there's a new host code. So please use the host code on any orders under $150. Oh, yes. Kendra, always popcorn. There's always popcorn. So... 
Um, Kim, this might be something too that maybe you and Connie would might be interested in, just to let you know. So, although I know you guys have stashes of lots, but it's fun. We hang out. And that's the good thing about being able to do it in person is that we kind of hang out and chit chat and have fun and all that kind of stuff. So it is super fun. All right, you guys, that's all that I have today. That's all that I have. I hope that you guys have a great day getting crafty and don't forget to help others learn things too to share this video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.